The game's not over yet. We have everything to change this game. We have the will. The desire for better. The heart. And the inspiration. When we stand united for sustainability, we can still win this game. We have the people. Goal of the century. I majored in entrepreneurship at Polytechnic University of the Philippines. During my time there, I acquired teamwork and leadership skills that I learned from my business-related courses. Oftentimes, I was assigned as the group leader in most major subjects for I maintained an excellent remark in every course. With that a lot in hand, I have sister duties to my three young siblings with a single parent, an inspiring TikTok influencer, and Shopee ambassador with 2.8 million likes and was able to sell products worth 82,000 pesos within a month and launched a one-man team small business during this pandemic. I made sure that none of these will ever affect my performance in school. During my free time, I read tons of business-related books, attended free seminars, and listened to self-help podcasts for my mental health. I discovered that making myself busy is just one of my coping mechanisms. That's why I learned how to manage my time efficiently and effectively. And this led me to your company. With this experience, I know that I would excel as the marketing manager of your company to further enhance my skills and leverage my knowledge. I'll never forget when we're shopping for clothes with my parents and siblings and my youngest sister can't find her size on the kids section because her body is too big for her age. In this world with a lot of variations and differences, I don't think that there should be a usual sizing. We all have the right to clothing and in this world, we are free to express ourselves. But what if I tell you that not all people are able to do it just because of some circumstances like lack of options, availability, and of course, its prices. Petite and plus size women are finding it hard to express themselves in clothes because of the so-called usual sizing that is not for them. And that is the reality before fast fashion. But we're here to put an end to that and produce products that are fashionable yet inexpensive. Fabs is a local brand producing activewear and loungewear that is a one size fits most and can fit a petite and plus size woman. But the question is, how can we be noticed? In this world with a full of startups and the fashion industry, how can we rise? For starters, we will use every social media platform to gain and reach our target audience. Since fast fashion is a starting business, we don't have a physical store yet. But we don't see that as a problem because most shopaholics today are spending a lot on online stores. This pandemic has changed the attitude of the shopper and created a new normal of how people buy their things. Like the TikTok made me buy it or shoppy boodles and likes. Well, one thing's for sure, Fabs Fashion will market their product on multiple online platforms.
my name is Patricia Fabras, the founder and director of Faust Fashion. Together with me are my partners, Mr. Tyron Katahan, Ms. Daniel Cristobal, and Ms. Natasha de Guzman. We are the team that makes Fabs happen. And we're here today seeking a 200,000 investment for a start with a 5% equity of our firm. Let me introduce the Philippines' first ever affordable tie-dyed activewear, which is our first and main product that you are seeing on the screen. Fabs Fashion Overall is an online clothing brand founded in the midst of the pandemic. Fabs Fashion offers hand-dyed bralettes, large quality pieces like sweatpants and tees, and of course our customized shirts and tote bags with quality fabrics providing comfort with style to people with different sizes and bringing the coffeeest yet latest fashion at affordable prices. Our bralettes popularize Fabs Fashion. Its creation is very timely during the pandemic for people are stuck in their homes that paved the way of physical activities and home workouts. But since we're close to going out again, Fabs Fashion don't just aim to provide a better quality of activewear, but we're also aiming to help people find joy in their own clothing pieces or what people call the dopamine dressing and also targets to lessen fast fashion and give stylish outfits to petite and plus size people. Let me take you back to the beginning. Two years ago, my youngest sister who has a plus size body is having a hard time to look for pretty or appealing clothes available in her size. For most plus size pieces are either low quality or lamely designed. And my second youngest sister is the opposite. She has a super petite body size. And most plus size fashion is so out of style, basic, uninspiring plus size choices and expensive like Urban Outfitters and Hot Topic. Those brands are the least inclusive of plus size fashion. Size inclusivity issues, that's one. Fast fashion believe that everyone has the right to clothing, including the right to choose what's best for them and fits them well. Unlike other similar brands, we have put an effort to find the cheapest supplier and build a rapport, hence making our brand the first local brand to cater to different sizes. These are our models. Actually, those are my staff officers. That's part of the business. 